I'm Kim Holmer. I'm a research entomologist here at the USDA ARS Beneficial Insects Introduction Research Unit. And at our laboratory, we work on managing invasive insect pests uh, by using their natural enemies. When brown marmorated stink bug was first beginning to be a problem on the East Coast, we began to consider the possibility of a classical biological control program by looking for its native natural enemies in Asia, where it's, where it's naturally from. And we found that there were egg parasitoids that uh, killed a very large proportion of brown marmorated stink bug eggs in Asia. And we felt that these parasitic wasps were good candidate agents to consider as potential biocontrol agents for stink bug here in North America. One of the big advantages of relying on natural enemies like Trisulcus japonicus is that they are active on their own. We don't have to distribute them. They find the, the target pest, brown marmorated stink bug, by themselves. And for brown marmorated stink bug, this is very important because many of its host species are widely distributed in landscapes where other control measures are just not feasible. And natural enemies are really the only management method that we can rely on to help us manage the pest in those types of habitats. Some stink bugs actually are beneficial, they're predatory insects. So we have to determine what the impact of these parasitic wasps is going to be on the beneficial species if we were to release them in the field. And our findings in the laboratory suggested that the parasite was not quite as specific as we would like it to be, requiring additional studies in the laboratory. I received a sample of parasitoids that had emerged from sentinel egg masses in Beltsville, Maryland. And these were put out by Don Weber and Megan Herlihy, who work at the Agricultural Research Center there. And among them was Trisulcus japonicus. So I immediately called Megan and said, did these come from outside? And she said, yeah, they did. And so then there was a very um, almost emotional moment and the question no longer became, can we release Japonicus? Is it safe to get this out there? How soon can we do it? The question became, where is it? What is it doing? How fast is it spreading? When Elijah called us with the news, I have to say I was extremely surprised, uh, shocked really. It was such a surprise, uh, I hardly knew what to think. One of the first things that occurred to us was, could it be one of the, the populations that we have in our laboratory that somehow escaped? Using microsatellite DNA, we were able to show that the population that was found in Maryland uh, was a new population that was not the same as one of our study populations. The discovery of a field population of Trisulcus japonicus could speed up the eventual implementation of this species as a biocontrol agent. So from that standpoint, it uh, is potentially very good, a good thing for growers. It also gives us a unique opportunity to conduct very useful research comparing the value of our laboratory assays and how they compare to actual field performance of a parasitoid. And this could help us improve our evaluation procedures for future introduced pests. If you find stink bug eggs, that you can positively identify as belonging to the brown marmorated stink bug. And they have a high rate of parasitism. And those are things that we would love to see uh, what comes out of those eggs. We're presently tracking the spread of Trisulcus japonicus throughout the East Coast. And very recently it's been found on the West Coast also. So we're trying to find out what is the actual distribution of this species what impact is it having on the stink bug? And currently we just have a handful of data points. Sulcus japonicus as a, a natural enemy which is 
tuned to the populations of its host and doesn't really need other insects to control it. Uh, it's self-controlling. When brown marmorated stink bug populations become rare, then the parasite will be less successful at reproducing itself and it will then become rare. So this is the classic predator-prey response. I expect the impact of Drosulcus japonicus to be very big. I'm pretty comfortable in predicting that five or so years down the road uh, we will be seeing that Trisulcus japonicus is really impacting brown marmorated stink bug populations and, and bringing their numbers down to levels where they're more manageable.